Hello everyone, it is Sukasa, and welcome back to my Sins of Rebellion tutorial slash walkthrough. A lot more walkthrough now and a lot less tutorial. Um, you know, we did the a very in-depth explanation of game mechanics for the first few episodes. Uh, last episode, I restarted the map and did a real-time run-through showing and without pausing all of the different game concepts I've been talking about and putting them into action. Hopefully that might have helped some of you. Uh, now we're going to continue along here and pick right back up where we left off. Uh, again, this is a, a 4X real-time strategy game, so you know the uh, 4X stands for Explore, Expand, ex uh, Exploit, and Exterminate. Um, we pretty much did the, the first of that already in just the, the first 20 minutes here. We've explored quite a lot of this map, thanks to, not to boast, but my pretty, pretty good uh, scout management skills. Okay, to boast. <laughs> but no, we really do. We got the vast majority, I think, of, of this star system opened up here. Of course, there are two more star systems to worry about, but we'll cross that bridge when we get there. So now we've got the exploration done, we know where the uh, rivals' corners are and where we are in relation to that. It's, uh, it's time to expand. So in this episode I'm going to build up, um, i got my fleet supply thing done. I'm going to build up my fleet, I'm going to keep expanding out. I want to grab this uh, desert and this ice planet. <coughs> I need to get my uh, defenses in this corner squared away. I'm going to need to build some more defensive ships. And uh, so that means I'm going to need a frigate factory here at, what is this, Hakon, Hakoni, whatever, the volcanic planet. I'm going to build a frigate factory down here at this asteroid as well. And I need to upgrade its planet health. Maybe even put in, I hate having this freaking non-colonizable space junk next to my Terran capital. It really sucks, so I guess I'm going to have to find some fun somewhere to uh, put some hangar bays in here. But anyway... Let's get going with uh, with the expansion. I do want to point out too, I've been, in that first episode, I really played my ass off. I was just really on top of things. And I couldn't have done it much better, I don't think. And just to give you an idea of how good the hard AI is, I'm not in first place. I mean, I'm four overall. Four out of six. That's crazy. I mean... Yeah, I'm number one in colonization, but I'm number six in research. I didn't feel like I'm really slouching on the research. I got, I mean, I got s stuff going here. I'm, geez, I got four things done in the civic. Uh, two of them going on here in the military, and one done in defense. And I'm in the last freaking place in research. That's craziness. My fleet is in last place. So that's give you an idea how good the hard AI really is. It's crazy. And uh, apparently in the 1.5 update a couple of weeks ago that they just put out, uh, they made a hard difficulty even harder. So that's, I'm starting to see that now. This is really the first playthrough I've, of the game I've done since the 1.5 patch, and I'm seeing the hard is definitely a bit harder. <clears throat> They're getting up and going a lot quicker than they used to. So this is, this is probably going to be a challenge in playthrough. Hopefully I don't get my ass kicked. That would be a bit embarrassing. <laughs> but I mean... Worst case scenario, at least you learn what not to do. <laughs> so, let's uh, unpause it and go in here. Now, where were we? Uh, good, good. Military lab's done. Also, another thing I wanted to underscore, too, here, that has me a bit concerned, besides my standing according to this ranking, uh, looking at my, uh, my sensor drone spots that before my scout died, he left. Uh, I was looking at these. Look at the ships he's got. He's already got Javelis LRM frigates built. That's crazy. And he's got Corvettes. So he's researched and built those freaking Corvettes and LRM frigates. That's that is a bit ahead of me. That sucks. <laughs> at least this guy doesn't seem to have done that. He's Research complete. disciple of us. I'm pretty sure it's just their Cobalt Light frigate. Oop, there went my sensor drone. Right, how are we doing resources here? Okay. Let us see, um, damn, two sides to come at that. So maybe I'll put the frigate factory, split the difference and put it in the middle. 
Why not? <coughs> Excuse me. Rally up over Where here. do you need me? A head slow. A slow head. Structure complete. <laughs> Don't like slow head. <laughs> Alright, um... Two, three. Additional oh. credits required. Okay, hold off on that then. <laughs> that didn't work out like I planned. Um, yeah, I think I'm gonna have my second fleet what just now? chill here. Yeah. I'll do my Look best. Here. Let's split them so that way I can. If anyone comes down that corridor, keep them from getting into my home planet. I'll be able to head them off the pass, so to speak. And this is one jump back to come back here to the. Uh, I won't let you down. Back to the asteroid place. All right, now we got some funds to work with. Let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven, one more, eight. I got some OCD. I gotta have even fleets when I build these things. That, you know, it's gotta be eight cobalts, and if I Throw some javelises in there. It's got to be complete. four or five. I can't. It can't be three. It can't be in a weird number. That sounds weird like that. And it never can be seven. I can't have seven in a fleet. It's, it's yeah. It's OCD. I know. Leave me alone. <laughs> All right. Um. Let's see. You don't have any logistic stuff? Nope. Okay. I definitely am gonna be a uh, free factory downhill. Although. Structure complete. Crap. Blue guy got a freaking scout all the way down here? Damn it. You know what? There's something I wanted to, to uh to mention too in the pirate episode I didn't get around to. You wanna be sure you whenever you tell your fleet and just you know, right click to go somewhere, be sure that you look at those blue lines uh that overlays on to the phase lanes. Be sure that it's not routing you through the pirate base. You will lose your entire freaking fleet to these guys. Uh, especially later on, you know, as we talked about the... Uh, oh, wow, it's already up the guarded. See, that's because I put such a high bounties on two players like that, to like 750 on two different guys. That jumped up uh, from low to guarded. That's, uh, that's not good. But as this thing goes up... Uh, more and more pirates are going to jump into this pirate base and and uh, their defenses are going to get beefier here. So, late game, there's just going to be an absurd amount of them here. You can eventually clear them out and bombard this place and blow it up completely if you wanted to. But you need a massive in-game fleet to do that. So, you just got to be, be mindful of, of that. If your little fleet with 20 frigates and your one capital ship gets accidentally routed through there, you're going to lose like half your fleet and maybe even a capital ship to these guys. I've seen it happen. So you really got to pay attention to those blue lines overlaying on the phase lines to make sure they're not routing you through there. If I were to just take these guys, this fleet here, and um, right-click this planet here, it may send me this way or it may send me that way. I think it calculates just the shortest route, and it looks like with the length of the phase lines, going through the pirate base might be the shortest route. So... You be mindful of that and, you know, tell it to manually come to here, and then once they get there, then tell it to go back here. So that way it doesn't send you through there. So, something to keep in the back of your mind there. Right. So we've got eight of these suckers cooking. Let's get one, two. Additional credits required. Three, two, four. Reporting for duty. Wow, we got a lot of income coming in. That's excellent. Excellent, excellent. Oh, crap. Got a job for me? Oh, crap. I'm on it. <laughs> Probably headed to my home planet. I gotta get some of these defenses up. Reporting for duty. Where they're going. Give the order. Not good. Let them have it. What are their, their special ability? Let's say. Give the order. Good to jumping out. Excellent. Got these guys. They're getting hammered down. Reporting for duty. Yes. Awesome. Good, good, good. Holy crap, that looks nerve wracking. 
where was I here? Three, four. Okay, good. I need to really get this. I need a uh, reporting for duty. A hangar bay here, sure. Um, think about this for a sec. Slots, yes. I need a third one. Reporting for duty. Really want to make sure that this does not get messed up. It's my freaking home planet. Be awful. Should dissuade them. Hopefully. How can I be of service? How are you cooking up? This little fleet Reporting down there. for duty. And Research stuff. I gotta get some of that. Got good, 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 good. Probably be a good idea to get these targets. Okay. You know what? I need more than that. I need a damn free factory down here. Reporting for duty. Hide him behind the. Uh... Eh. Yeah, it's a good spot. What are these guys? Bombers. And... Bombers. Okay, so I've got enough spot over here to put another fighter bay. Probably be a good idea. All ordnance accounted for. Excellent. Yeah, I need to bolster that defense fleet. Structure fully. complete. Reporting in. And spend some more funds here. What do we need? Um... Proximity mines might be a good idea. I really want that flat turret though. I like those. It helps me in the uh, overlay when I lay down those things to see their radius. All ordnance accounted for. And they're pretty useful. Let's get the armor thing. Those don't affect the javelins, so. Okay. Structure complete. Um, next, I think I need to get that third rank of. Uh, got some logistics slots. Yep. And put me another um all ordinance lab. accounted for. Put me another civic station down here. Get that third rank of it. There is no further profit in attacking an empire. Oh boy, pirate stuff's gonna come up in a minute, isn't it? Yep. Yeah. That's not good. Save it real quick. There we go. Okay. Um Go ahead and build that. All ordnance accounted for. Save my for. money. All right, we should have no time. Uh, just a civic. Um, put on this. Yeah, uh, let's put it right. Here. Structure complete. Are we done building the fleet yet? Yes. Awesome. All right. Where do you need me? We're that underway. the ships actually. Additional credits required. Crap. How can I be of service? Four seconds. Ah, great. Intel reports an impending pirate raid. Research complete. I know orange and purple have got to be in the same sector, so... There we go. Those should play off each other. I wanted to go on the purple guy, though. Ooh, wait. Purple guy really hate me? Oh, yeah, he does. But he hates blue Reporting more. For duty. Crap. That's not good. Crap. Purple guy. Oh, no, good, good. Purple put it back onto uh, red. Okay, that's fine, whatever. Ugh. Boy, they're really bidding it up high. <laughs> okay, um... Should be good with that, though. Get Structure another complete. Two. I get another two of those, and then we're gonna head out. We've got these two planets to capture. We need to bolster uh, 
this place. Let's get the emergency facilities up and going. It's definitely not going on tonight. Pirate raiders are on the Good loose. God, they boasted that All up All ordinance accounted for. It's nuts. Let's set this rally point over here in this place. Uh, ships, you got five. Oop. Two. Three. When you're building ships like these, uh, they don't take much crystal, so if you need to sell something, it's best to sell crystal. Because they do take quite a bit of metal. Like the cobalt's 55 metal, this one's 45 metal. So, a little bit of insight to my method there. These guys should be. Finished. Done. Reporting in. Yep. All ordinance accounted for. Excellent. Excellent. How can I be of service? Control one. Just make sure they're all set right and uh, we're underway. Move out. Base jump underway. I also need to get one, two. All hands. Prepare for phase jump. Two. Yeah. Two is fine. You get some more scouts out there. All ordinance accounted for. <clears throat> phase jump complete. If it's out there, I'll find it. Where to now? E7, come up. I'm yep, see, there. look at that. Boom. See that, uh, that freaking line? That blue line? It did send it through the pirate base, so... I knew that was gonna happen. You gotta be mindful of that. On send it way. over here. If it's out there, Put a I'll pro find on this it. place, too. Make All sure ordinance accounted nothing comes for. through there. Let's in the right direction. And let's um crap. On my way. Over here too. Stuff going here. Let's get that last hangar bay. Boom, there's that red All outline of the uh, flak crap crap. I did put those too close. That should be good there. Two fighters, right? Yep, four fighters, two bombers. That's generally what I like to go with. This place too, yep. Yeah. Excellent. Now, I really don't want to lose this place, so it's emergency facilities gotta get upgraded. Fifteen hundred is not enough planet out for this place. Especially with me being two jumps away. <laughs> it's tactical slots is low as well. It's not good. Ah, good, my uh civilian thing's finished. Let's uh, sell a little bit of this. And a little bit of that. There we go. Here we go. Excellent. Reporting in. Secure the passengers. Looking for something? What now? Right, our second fleet's getting built up there. That's good. Um. Quite a bit Our more fleet supply there. The fight. And build a... You know what? Building a... Hmm. Build another capital ship might be a good thing. I've got enough fleet supply to do it. Structure complete. Yeah, I think I do need a, a capital ship down here for defensive purposes. Build me a call battleship, maybe. That's income. That kind of pretty good. Where do you need me? Ooh, there's a lot of ships here. Brace for combat. Secure the passengers. Hold steady. We're going in. Let's zoom in and enjoy the action. Hold steady. We're going in. Just decimate. Brace for combat. when there's nothing much going on. Now we've got some funds to work with. Let's get this, uh... Go ahead and upgrade that. Let's get some more of these things up and going. And, um... Let's hold off on that for a sec. 
queue up that thing. There we go. Sell some of this metal. I'll upgrade that. Alright, what else do I need to work on? Um, okay, we got that fleet decent. Um, hmm. I'm not quite sure, actually. Oh, shit. I forgot to I tell these guys to move on. Ow, oh, fuck me. That was dumb. Ah, watching the pretty explosions. <laughs> Alright, let's build two more of those. <laughs> Alright, let's build one down here, too. Um, let's reset that. There we go. Let's see what's going on on if that end there, of things. I'll find it. Good lord. Silly of me. Did we tell this to build? Yep. Alright, oh, wow, that went quick. Okay. If it's out there, I'll find it. How can I be of service? Excellent. Got us a new planet ready to take. Oh, ripe for the taking. Nice, it's got four freaking at metal, or rather, a crystal at four. That's eight freaking crystal right there. Holy crap. That means we're probably going to need to upgrade our metal extraction. Yeah. There is no further it's going to give us way more crystal than mine. You got it, you just keep slipping behind. It's Where crazy. do you need me? But I think I probably do have the biggest, beefiest um, planet. Sound plan. What all do we have here? Got a Kodiak at it. Let's pause this. And save it. Sorry, let's call it five. Here's kind of my method of of this too. Uh, I try to save it every few minutes, at least every ten minutes or so. This one's at thirty six, and the last one is at twenty seven. Then um, once I get to about five save files, then I just start recycling them. Um, next time, instead of creating a new one, I'll just override tutorial one, and I just kind of keep doing that back and forth. So that way, I've got about f 50, almost an hour's worth of uh, saves, so I can back up an hour ago. Because um, these maps, you know, these games go on for many hours. I mean, you can play on a large map, anywhere from 5 to 12 or more hours on it uh, if you want to do the full conquest of it a huge map you know you could end up spending t 20 plus hours on it so you might want to back up and make a big mistake somewhere along the line you might want to back up 20 minutes 30 minutes it gives me the option to do that at 10 minute increments so just a little bit of uh, insight into my methods there now, let's call this guy 9, let's send him, put probe here, these guys, two of them there, yep. 7 and uh, 8, let's sell 7, 2, move here, 8, move up there, point me in the right direction. Reporting in. Now I'm probably gonna need a um research complete. One, two, yeah, it's two jumps away from anything. I'll probably need another frigate factory at this location. Planet probably. development finished. Yeah, because of that wormhole. I definitely will. So did I Did I upgrade that one? Take it out? Yes I did, okay. Um Make factory, complete. let's put it right about there. So it's a rally point for here. Did I lose any ships? Yes, I did. I lost a cobalt. Let's fix that. Alright, now Planet we need to... Finished. We've got enough capital ship supply. We need to get us a new capital ship, and that is going to cost us pretty dearly. Um, 3,000 freaking credits, 400 metal, and 250 crystal. So, 
Every time I get to 350 crystal, I'll sell 100 of it. I'll keep doing that to get my credits up. And uh, might end up buying some metal too, because we don't have a whole lot of metal income coming in. But what I want to mention here, um, for your second capital ship, I highly, highly recommend going with a mainline attack one. Um, the Call Battleship is your best bet. It has just crazy good all-around damage capabilities and survivability. Um, it's got a lot of hull. It's got a lot of shields. Um, it's got some really good skills. Its abilities can just decimate um, single-target stuff. That Gauss Railgun just eats up other capital ships. Um, Flak Burst is great to keep the strike craft down. And the Adaptive Force Field is... Um, is a survivability skill that will uh, increase your survivability for a short period of time. And then the uh, once you get to rank six, as we talked about several episodes ago, uh, you get the uh, I don't know prestige ability, whatever you want to call it, at rank six. And for the call battleship, it's a really really good one called Finest Hour. It uh it significantly buffs up any ships in a radius around it for a short period and that is a really great skill so highly recommend the call battleship as a mainline fighter it also does good planet bombardment damage so once you get to that point where you're bombarding enemy planets to take it over uh, if it's a if it's a well upgraded planet you're probably still gonna need some of those siege frigates but uh, it's that's a good supplement and early on it can it can almost do the job of bombarding in itself. Uh, if it's a smaller planet, like one of these little asteroids, the call battleship can easily take out a uh, take out one of those. But anyway, that's my recommendation. Uh, some of the other ones that are good to go with I, for your second one, I don't know. I I really so strongly recommend the call. But for your third ship, a uh, great choice is the Dunoff battlecruiser. It's a uh, a support one. It's got shield restore and uh, some EMP charge, magnetize, uh, some little bit of damage mix, um, and other sorts of abilities that hamper um, the enemy fleet. Uh, the shield restore on it is really good though. So it's, it's a good support one. Uh, another good one for your third is the Marza Dreadnought. I really like this one because it's it's kind of like the Call Battleship where it, this one focuses on damage, uh, but it, it focuses on planet bombardment damage mainly uh, it still goes re does really good damage to enemy capital ships the uh, the incendiary shells and the uh, radiation bomb can do some really good damage to other capital ships uh, but it's raised planet ability it just decimates enemy planets it's got really good bombardment damage on it so that's a that's an excellent choice for your third one as well I've never actually built this uh, Corsav battlecruiser it's new to rebellion for whatever reason, I just always forget about it even existing, so maybe I'll end up buying that one as my third one and see how that works out. Yeah, the Silver Carry is pretty good too, but I don't know. I'm not big into Strike Craft. It's, it's all about Strike Craft obviously being a carrier, so... It, it's not bad, though. Yeah, I think I'm going to try out the course of. I don't know much about it. Um, support ship. Able to capture and damage enemy ships. That sounds really cool take over some enemy, I don't know, the arena drone hosts and turn them on on the, uh, on the advent player. That'd be pretty cool. Uh, it probably can't capture uh, enemy capital ships, but still be pretty cool. <laughs> Alright, um... Got all of these upgraded. Got that building. Um, Alright, I think this is a good time to uh, take a little break. Oh, yep, see, they did freaking capture this. I was afraid of that. I knew if I went and captured it that there would be a fight over it, and since I wanted my main fleet to go this way, that's why I held off on it. I'm hoping maybe if I entrench this place enough, he'll decide that that's more trouble than it's worth at this point, and he'll head up that way and maybe get into a scrap with this guy. That's my hope, at least. Um, yeah. Alright, he laid his thing down. Let's go ahead and tell him to move up here. Okay. All right. Let's save this. Save. There. All right, and that does it for this episode. I think I'm going to take a break for a little bit. Um, 
I hope you did enjoy, maybe learned something. If so, don't forget to thumbs up and uh, subscribe for more. Until next time, this is Sukasa signing out.